What's up guys, Natty Boss here. I'm gonna be showing you a technique today, a passing technique from Top Half Guard. I'm a six planes black belt under John Desmo, and I'm excited to share with you this variation that I have been adopting into my game. When it comes to jiu-jitsu, you have to make adaptations based off what's available, and nowadays people are really good at defending, so you have to be able to adjust your game, and there's a lot of pot passing options from top half guard, but this one is a slight different variation based off problems I was having, so I want to share with you. So, this is my UK here, Kendall, it's also my sister, and a blue belt, and she's going to be getting the beating today. So I'm going to have her lie down. And in this particular pass that I'm going to be showing, she has her legs wrapped in that half guard, but she doesn't have that knee shield all the way in from knee back because I maybe beat her to that part. Okay, so here I'm, I'm right here where she still has the half guard, I don't have the pass, but I'm using my elbow and my frame enough where she doesn't have that. So sometimes you might get to this position, but you're not able to finish it. And this is one of the ways in which you can start this pass. So from here, obviously we're always looking for head control underhook, but obviously they're not going to give it to us very easily. So I like to inch my way up to my final position. So what I'm going to start with is what's really close to me where I can still keep a really strong frame. And that's going to be the scruff of her pants right here. I don't like to grab the belt and even the top of the gi because a lot of the times people's gis can be all over. The pants usually are in place and so that's something I can rely on. So the scruff of the pants here, I'm going to grab and then palm down, framing her hip bone with my forearm here. Okay, keeping a strong frame here. Now I am going to try to shoot for that top head control, which is what we're trying to do when we're passing and getting a strong cross position. So I'm trying to get into that, but she's doing a really good job at framing and keeping me back, which is preventing me from moving forward. So I'm gonna address that. So I'm here. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually ditch this head control grip and I'm gonna dive under her bottom arm to really extend. This is the arm on the hip. It's really keeping me blocked. I can get rid of this arm. It's not really that big a problem, but the hip is what I need for my power and to get past. So I need to address this. So she's pushing me back. I'm going to dive underneath, right by her armpit, and I'm going to crawl my arm up as high as I can, and then re-grab behind the neck of the lapel. From here, I'm right now I'm kind of crouched really low, trying to eliminate space. My chin is by her chest, by her patch maybe, and I'm staying nice and low. From here, I'm going to use my body, shifting to a 45, so I'm at a 45 to her shoulder, and flattening out into a, like a frog position. So my feet are flat here. My free leg is gonna wibble to block her bottom leg here. So I can then free my top leg into knee cut. Still keeping strong frame by the hip. Really important so she can't regard. All right, from here you have two options. You can just finish in your side control position so slowly start to weave this back into head control and underhook. Or when we go back here, this arm's isolated enough to really set up a nice arm bar. So to prevent her from just getting her arm back, you want to do it slow and methodically. So this free leg can start to form like a little block behind her leg so that you can let go of this um, hand that's on the back of her collar to circle around and pin her arm underneath your armpit. From here, your bottom leg is going to shoot under her armpit. You're going to have to jump up a little bit here and then you sit back down, left leg over the head, and arm bar. All right, so this is our fight. I kind of blocked with my elbow, that shield from coming in, but that's not enough. I need to get some type of grip. So I'm gonna grab that hip bone and I'm going to frame with my forearm. Left hand's gonna dive for that collar. She's framing me out so I can't come forward. Right reaction, bottom hand's gonna dive under that arm on the bottom. Getting nice and close here, you can see my chin starts to lower and I grab that collar. I fan my legs out at a 45, flattening using my free leg to come over and wipe her to pin her bottom leg to the floor so I can free my knee into a nice low knee cut here. Keep this frame on the hip. 
You can see her arms nice and exposed right here by me. So this makes it really easy. I can still prop my knee up behind her as a little barrier, swim this arm around, capture her arm into my armpit. Then I'm gonna hop up. You can use this frame so that you have pressure on her hip. Hop up to really dive the top of your foot underneath the armpit, here. You sit back, pin the head, pinch your knees, and up. Or, again, coming back in. I'm in my knee cup position. From here, same thing, keeping everything nice and low. I'm just gonna circle around towards the head. Keeping, a little detail I really like, is as I do that, I like to keep my knee elbow connection. Keep my knee elbow connection as I circle into my strong cross, head control underhook, and there. So that's a nice little variation, some different details than traditional passes that you may have seen. I hope that you like it, I hope that you try it, and I'll see you in the next technique video.